Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Zach, you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you so much for tuning back to my channel and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video here on the channel today. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for all your support on the channel recently. You guys are absolutely amazing. We just passed 10,200 subscribers last night, so that really means a lot. We had an excellent live stream last night too. We got over $39.50 in donations from a couple of you awesome people, so thank you guys so much. But in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys another Red Dead Redemption 2 information video and what could possibly possibly be the start of the game. This is going to be sort of an everything you need to know about the Blackwater Massacre in Red Dead Redemption 2. I received a lot of comments asking me to discuss this event that happens in, in the Red Dead Redemption universe, and if I had to take a guess, I would bet it's because it wasn't really mentioned at all in Red Dead Redemption 1. It was mentioned by Landon Ricketts at one point in the story, and other than that, we only know about the Blackwater Massacre because of the newspapers we read in towns like Armadillo, Chuparosa, Escalera, and Blackwater, and then we also know about this event because because strangers talk about it as we explore the open world of Red Dead Redemption. So before we get into this video, guys, if you guys do go on to enjoy and you find the information helpful, definitely drop a like on this video. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, please feel free to subscribe. Without further ado, though, let's just jump right into this. The Blackwater Massacre is an event mentioned in Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2, and it's a large-scale battle taking place in Blackwater in 1899. The massacre was highly publicized. It's also implied that the main cast of Red Dead Redemption 2 was directly directly involved and the massacre is the catalyst for the manhunt forcing the gang to flee across three states. So I want to talk about some background information of this event. Little is known about the circumstances of the incident as these were not known to the public and the government has not released any official explanation, but the high publicity of the event has resulted in many rumors surfacing and facts are also scarce. The only things known for certain is that it began as a bank robbery that went bad and a large number of outlaws and lawmen were involved and now in this Blackwater massacre event the exact the exact order of events that happened is unclear. Following a botched robbery, lawmen engaged outlaws involved in the act and ensuing firefight escalated, resulting in the death of 37 combatants, 22 outlaws, and 15 Blackwater Police Department officers. The number of civilian casualties was low, though never specified, and the exact number of combatants involved and thus the number of survivors is also unclear to us. Among the casualties, one is believed to be Cole McFarlane, the brother to Bonnie McFarlane in Red Dead Redemption 1, who's also an associate of John Marston's. And one confirmed survivor is Landon Ricketts, while a rumored survivor is Willie Oates. Now, just talking about the aftermath of the Blackwater Massacre, as a direct result of this, Landon Ricketts moved away from Blackwater and relocated to Chuparosa, and the Blackwater Massacre was unprecedented in many ways. An uncharacteristically high number of combatants were involved, and it's unusual for such large gunfights to happen in well-protected and developed cities like Blackwater. The surrounding confusion and subsequent government cover-up led to many rumors speculating about the massacre, and it's implied but unconfirmed that the Dutch Vanderland gang was responsible and that the massacre is a direct catalyst of the events of Red Dead Redemption 2 by triggering a manhunt forcing the gang to flee. So that's kind of like an everything you guys need to know of the Blackwater Massacre. Now you're probably wondering how does this relate to the beginning of the game? Well I have a few reasons here. For one, Grand Theft Auto 5 which came out in 2013 started off with a botched robbery as well where Michael, Trevor, and Brad tried to rob a bank in North Yankton that went awry and basically Brad was killed, Michael faked his death, and Trevor just went away because of it and so he found him later and that's kind of the story of Grand Theft Auto 5. The beginning of Grand Theft Auto 5 was such a successful start and people really loved the beginning of the game it threw you right into the action. I'm sure Rockstar is going to do something similar with Red Dead Redemption 2 and we're going to start right in the middle of the game and basically we're going to be in the Blackwater Massacre. We're going to be experiencing it and it seems as though John Marston is not going to be present at that time in 1899 because if John Marston is present then Landon Ricketts can't be present because Landon Ricketts was involved in the Black Blackwater Massacre and John Marston met Landon Ricketts for the first time in Red Dead Redemption 1 in the mission American Tragedies because when John Marston went to Mexico he met Landon Ricketts for the first time and he said oh you were famous when I was a boy so that means that John Marston never met Landon Ricketts before then so they cannot be in the Blackwater Massacre together so we're gonna start this game off most likely in the Blackwater Massacre John isn't gonna be present Landon Ricketts is going to be present and we're gonna be most likely playing as Arthur Morgan at the start of the game we're gonna be thrown right into the action and I'm I'm super excited but I just wanted to bring you guys this video to catch you guys up on the Blackwater Massacre because I know a lot of people don't know a lot of information about it. I had to do some research myself because I wasn't really comfortable talking about it before. I wrote down some notes on my little notepad right here. But now that I have them I wanted to bring you guys this video so thank you so much for tuning in. That wraps up what I want to talk about today. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video and found the information helpful as well as if you guys are new to the channel and enjoy all these daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos definitely feel free to subscribe as well as let me know what you think down in the comments and don't forget that if you want to win an ultimate edition copy of 
of Red Dead Redemption 2, then be sure to enter the giveaway. I have the links and rules to enter down in the description, as well as follow me on Twitter at HazardousHDTV so I can talk with you guys in real time over on there. Every single day, I tweet out when all my videos are going live so you guys can be the first ones to watch. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Adios, amigos.